Hi friends, in this video let us try to simulate single phase AC voltage controller. This is the di diagram, we ha I have already created this diagram and let us try to obtain each and every block here by creating the new one with the same features. Okay, let us start doing it. Let me open a new file as we have already learned the regarding MATLAB. So a new model can be obtained in this way. So here you can see the new model or you can go to file directly and open a new model like this. So once new model is open, you just open it. Actually AC voltage controller. So AC voltage controller means the input is AC even the output is also AC. So let me take input AC means I need to take the AC voltage source and I need to take any R load or RL load as the load that is also in AC side. So in between these two I need to put the controllers or uh, I need to put the devices. So let me take one device, one thyristor to operate in positive off cycle and the other thyristor to operate in the negative off cycle. That means I need to use two thyristors in an anti parallel connection so that the job will be done. It's very simple. Let us first take the devices whatever we require and let's go ahead. Let me take the source first, voltage source. Uh, let me go to SIM power systems. Yeah, in SIM power systems, let me go to electric sources. So it's an AC. So let me take the AC voltage source. So this is my AC voltage source. And in the next step, let me take a thyristor that's from power electronics. So where is the thyristor? Yeah, this is the thyristor. And load, load means simple R load or RL load. Okay, let me take the elements RLC branch. I need to take it. Yes, it's very simple thing. So let me take one more thyristor here and let me flip it so that it can be useful for yeah this is for positive off cycle and the thyristor one is for negative off cycle so let me write the names t1 here and t2 here as we can see in the textbook so so that you don't get the confusion from textbook and these things yeah let me connect these two anode is connected to cathode here so this is what we call as the anti parallel connection and here cathode is connected to anode yeah and this is connected to this part and this is also this let me turn this mm, this is rotate yeah let me take only r load in the first instant this like this yeah let me sh shorten this name this name is ac voltage this is let me take it as V in and this may be R load and the connection would be like this. It's very simple connection. This is what we can we can draw by using MATLAB. One voltage source is there and two anti-parallel thyristors are there and the, those things are connected to load R and for every simulation to run in MATLAB I need to we need to take power GUI block so let me take the same as we may give the pulses to these thyristors so definitely it's better to convert the the parameter into discrete Okay, the sampling time may be sufficient here. Yes, that's fine. So now we need to provide the pulse generator. So we need to provide the firing signal. So let me go ahead with pulse generator. It will be in sources here. Pulse generator. Yes, this is pulse generator. I can directly connect the, the same pulse generator to this also in an anti parallel I mean in inverted mode okay let me do the same for you for our clarity 
this is that how we can give the pulses in a simplest way yeah this is one pulse and the inverted pulse has to be given to this so that inverted pulse can be given by using by using a logical block whether logic and logic block let me take and here mm. that is the logical block okay let, let us stop here and let us see in simulink logic and bit operators are there mm, let's take a and here where it is yeah logical operator i can take this part and i can make it into not gate and what t not so only one is sufficient here so apply and okay that's all so now this signal will be my inverted signal and that can be given to the next register yeah so this is the simplest part so let me give the i want to take the rms value as 100 volt so let me give it here as 100 root 2 that will be 141.4 so apply okay and the other thing is 60 no the frequency should be 50 here so i want to convert into 50 so i put here as 50 so that's all so next thyristor uh, no need to change anything and here i can one is sufficient let me take go ahead with one only and these are the things very simple concept but here i need to take voltage source voltage and source current and i want to show you load voltage and load current but those things can be shown by using multimeter or by using voltage voltmeter and ammeter okay let me go ahead with multimeter first and voltmeter ammeter those things can be done with in a simple manner anyhow let us go ahead with multimeter let me make it reduced yeah here the meters are there measurement if you go to measurement here multimeter is there yeah multimeter so with this multimeter we can plot the things let me show you i want to measure voltage here and current here so this is my voltage okay okay and current means i can show the current here also so both the currents are same so i can show the current here also so here branch voltage and branch current apply and okay those things can be done mm, and i need to give the pulse here so let me give the pulse as this has been explained in the one more video pulse generator how we need to give the pulse generator and those things have been discussed in the previous lecture so you can go ahead with that and let us see this should be 20 millisecond this 5 is okay and here i need to give first 30 degree 30 degree means 0 0.01 is 180 degree so divided by 60 will be 30 degree simply that's all the inverted signal will be given to this part so it's okay so now we can generate those signals so i need to take a scope here let me take a scope so before going to scope i would like to show you i want to separate the input and output things so i want to take a dmux here yes dmux this is the dmux thing and where is scope scope has to be there scope is in commonly used blocks so let me take scope from this part yes this is the scope yeah let me show you two axes in one go and this is the thing for the i don't know how it comes because uh, actually we have three things so here let me make into three only 
but here I I told you that I want to combine voltage and current. I mean outputs. I want to separate inputs and outputs. Of course, the current is the same. Mm, let me separate input and output. So here U B R is the output thing and U V in is the input thing. This is also output thing. So let me separate input here. Mm, let me make it down. Make it up. Yes. So first two things are for output. Okay, let me take it as if IB is also the output current. If I take like that, so those things can be taken in one go, and third one will go in the another go. So let me use one mux here, so that those things can come in one single entity. Mux. Yeah. Now I can. show you one thing the third part let me take the first part as the input and other parts so now the first part is the source voltage and second and third part are the obviously the output voltage and output current this thing will go here let me take it's very simple it's uh, let me take point 1 also time okay let me see this what it has come it hasn't come na no? okay something happened here i will show you these signals are not at all applicable okay this is inverted signal is not applicable let me remove this part we need to take one more thing and this would be same thing Plus point five, plus zero point zero one. So this is pi plus pi plus alpha. Now it will be very easy to identify. Yeah, this is the correct one. Mm, but it hasn't come no. Uh, the output voltage is not at all coming. Let me show the same thing. Let me show you here. yes both the things are same as the value is 1 if i make it to 2 so i can have this figure yes this we can do it now there is a change here yes this is the fine now this is fine so this one is voltage and this one is current now so this will be good let me remove these things so this is simple thing so in this way we can do it i want to show you one more thing so what is the value of voltage i mean input voltage and output voltage here the value of output voltage input voltage and output voltage is i need to show you acha yaar chala let me take the dis display here display block okay go into here and press display display block and this block should be connected to connected at this part this is to voltage i mean input voltage and the same thing will be for output voltage guess the second one is output voltage let me show you yeah second one is the voltage so second one is output voltage okay 
these are the instantaneous values but we don't want instantaneous values here we want only the rms values so let me show you how to take the rms value yeah this is the rms value you can just connect here you can connect the same here right there is a problem in this blocks i guess okay here we need to tick this part running rms okay otherwise it won't come so you need to tick the part running rms here also running rms now it has come. yes it is 99.96 and it is 97.63 so practically i mean uh, if you see the formula output rms output voltage formula the formula will be like this v v not rms is equal to vm by root 2 n square root of 1 by pi whole into pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha by 2 so this is the formula for output voltage if there is the load is r load with this clarity we can say that the if alpha is 30 percent we will get 98.54 percentage of the source voltage that means this may be around like that only if this is 100 this is 98 point something so this will be around 98.54 percent only okay if the alpha is 30 degree and the load is r load and the same thing can be shown if if the alpha is 60 degree that means I, we can simply make it two times so it is into two simply okay and here also this will be into two S sorry within brackets two into that's all so just do it yeah this is around 89.69 percent has to come so this is around approximately the same so the input is 100 volt and the output is 89.69 percent so this this is the very valid simulation and in the next step if you if you can see 90 degree also you can easily see it and you can see the waveform also here see this is 60 percent waveform previously they that is 30 percent waveform and you can see the waveform here the yellow color is the voltage and the pink color is the current so yes i put the resistance as 2 so the current has been reduced half of the voltage to just to get the clarity that that's it this is the input voltage and this is the output voltage and output current so if you if you can see here let me change the voltage to 90 degree so 2 has to be changed to 3 simply and this is also 2 has to be changed to 3 if it is 90 degree the voltage should come around 70.7 percentage of the source voltage so if it is 100 it is around 70 percent so it's sufficient so this is the perfect simulation and uh, as i as i have promised earlier i will show you what i have shown in the at start so how to change the background so the background can be changed like this screen color yellow i put yellow there and here how to annotation this part is called annotation that means putting some lines or some words there so this is single layer sorry single phase single phase ac voltage controller and we can change here also we can change the background and we can change see edit annotation properties are there so we can change let me change the background to green color 
and this one to white color and I want to change the fonts also let me increase the fonts to 16 and uh, let me make it into narrow bold or something else whatever you like you can do it uh, let me do it let me go ahead with this bold 16 paste 10 whatever it may be ok apply ok so this is what the whole thing is and uh, I have shown in the different thing that means in the previous thing I mean at first at the starting of this yeah I have shown this part that means here the voltage source voltmeter and ammeters are taken separately but this is the advanced one I have used multimeter here so it reduces the size and it gives you the very clear insight so simply you can take it and so you can run the RMS and you can get the values at one go without touching the main circuit this is the main if you treat this as the main circuit and without touching this circuit or we can call it as power circuit without touching the power circuit and this circuit is called control circuit you can have your measurements here by taking the multimeter block ok that's the advantage of multimeter block and this was explained in the previous lectures also and I will share the link in the description you can go ahead with that also so if you have any doubts you can simply type in the comment box so that I can respond for your doubts and if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share with your friends and family and if you want to subscribe to my youtube channel please do subscribe and kindly press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever I upload any video thank you thank you so much